Greetings fans, it's me Jay. Uh, I haven't done a video in a long time. There's a lot of reasons for that I'm not going to go into right now. Uh, I think the last one I did was maybe July-ish. Uh, but something very interesting happened today. Uh, I definitely want to make sure I recorded it before I go to bed. Because tomorrow I probably won't have a lot of this stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. Uh, and without giving specifics on things, let me put it like this. I know a guy who knows a guy. And uh, I was actually buying an Xbox 360 wireless controller off him. He just happened to have a couple of extra things and, and asked me if I was interested and um, he broke out this got 24 well most of them are sealed copies of Super Smash Brothers Wii Wii U uh, th this game actually just came out this past week uh, most of these are sealed one uh, is actually a little bit damaged at the top but it's still sealed and I had to pop one of these open because I didn't believe that I was actually getting the deal that I was getting. I thought the guy was trying to scam me. Um, but it is real. You know, everything's in here. Uh, it's definitely a Wii U game. So I got 24 copies of Super Smash Bros. Wii U. Um, again, all of them are sealed except the one that I opened to verify that these weren't fake. Um, the guy came out with a factory box full of these games. I, don't know what to say. I mean, it was like like a dream. <laughs> I couldn't believe that was actually happening. And the guy told me he wanted ten bucks a piece, so I paid two hundred forty dollars for the whole stack. Uh, pretty unbelievable. I didn't ask the guy where he got them. I don't want to know where he got them. I don't. I don't care. You know, as far as I'm concerned, I'm sure I know how he got them. But I, I, if I don't know, there's nothing wrong with it on my end. But it was just something I couldn't walk away from. The guy, uh, he he actually initially pulled out three copies. And he asked me if I was interested. I asked him how much. He said ten bucks. So I just kind of looked at him like, "Wow, are, are you serious?" And then uh, you know, I, I said, "I'll take them all." And he, he looked at me like I, he was shocked, like that I would actually take them. And um, he asked me if I sell games. And generally, I, I sell doubles. I don't actually go out specifically buying games to sell games. However, um, you know, something like this, what are you gonna do? Uh, I, I told him no. Uh, he looked at me funny, like he didn't believe me, and. He said, you know, he knows that I buy games from other folks and, and whatnot. So, um, like I said, I, I know a guy who knows a guy. Um, so he then he broke out the box and uh, he asked me if I wanted to take them all. And and I asked him, you know, if you're going to do ten bucks a piece, I'll run to the ATM, hold them for me, I'll be right back. So I ran like I've never run before to that damn ATM, pull out my two hundred and forty dollars and pick up this stack of games. Um, I actually don't have a Wii U yet, and it's something I'm going to rant about just a little bit. So last weekend, Sears had a glitch on their website showing that they were selling um, Wii U's and 3DS XL's for $60. Now a bunch of my friends knew about this and they went ahead and, and did a price match thing with uh, Walmart, Toys R Us, and Best Buy. They didn't bother to tell anybody. You know, they found out at 11 o'clock in the morning, didn't bother to tell anybody until late in the evening when these stores were either out of the systems or uh, weren't doing the price match anymore. And it really sucks because I didn't have either one and I really wanted both, especially Wii U. So uh, I'm not going to name names, but certain people in, in my trading group, so-called friends, um, once I told them that I had these or, or show, posted the picture on Facebook anyway, uh, they decided that you know they wanted to get a free copy or, or extremely cheap and I didn't tell them how much I paid for it. but. You know, these guys didn't offer me a deal, um, and generally when we trade, they go by the policy that, you know, if it's a sealed game, they go by the lowest uh, Amazon price, and I think if it's an open game, it's like 15% below video game price charting. So, you know, I think it's kind of stupid because, you know, when you start bringing money into the equation, you know, the friendship thing goes, and I think trading becomes not as much fun, and it's it just... I don't know. I don't think that's the way to do it. You know, back when I was a kid, you know, you trade basketball cards or whatever, video games or whatever, there was no monetary value involved. If somebody wanted something and somebody else wanted something, you know, they agree on mutual terms, doesn't matter what the thing is worth, and they, they trade. You know, that's kind of the, the policy that I go by personally. Like if somebody has a $50 game and I have a $30 game, if it makes me happy to get that $30 game and trade away a $50 game, I have no problem with the price difference. But anyway, um, bottom line is I brought this up you know these are all sealed games 
you know, I gave them more than 15% off of uh, Amazon's lowest sealed uh, game price, and, and apparently I was a dick for doing that. So I no longer have uh, trading bunnies buddies anymore. So anyway, um, I kind of went into dirty reseller mode. I'm not gonna lie. What am I? What else am I gonna do with 24 copies of Wii U uh, Smash Brothers? So um, I, I put 15 up on eBay, and I sold them for lower than everybody else was selling them. I think I got like three or four left. Uh, I'm going to keep one for myself for when I eventually do get a Wii U. I'm sending one to my daughter. Um, I'm probably going to hold on to a few sealed copies. Uh, I'm sending one to a friend of mine, and I'll, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with the rest. That would leave me with nine extra copies, so I think I have four that I spoke for. So I'm genuinely shocked that the guy who had these sold them to me to me for 10 bucks a piece which you know obviously leads me to believe that he got them in an unethical way but you know if I don't know it like I said my hands are clean I don't want to know about it so you know I thought I'd go ahead and you know rant about that and talk about that a little bit um, before I go to bed and then tomorrow I'll pick up and kind of go into some of the stuff that I've gotten over the last week or a couple weeks or whatever uh, so maybe some of the more significant things that I've gotten this year that I haven't talked about. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely been a good month. Um, I can't say that I've gotten everything that I've wanted initially, but, you know, the gaming gods have smiled upon me, and in and, and some way I've been vindicated for all the stuff that I've missed out on. You know, especially, you know, with the, the Wii U and um, 3DS uh, shenanigans, I guess you could call it, that went on last week where all these people were doing the price match thing and I unfortunately missed out on it, but, you know, if I want to get a Wii U now, I can definitely afford to get it, to do that, so, um, yeah, I'll catch you in a little bit, different clothes and all that, but part two of the video, coming soon. Who's Kirby? Behind the flabby facade, a physical powerhouse, a street fighter, a weapons expert. He's whatever the situation demands. In Kirby's adventure, evil King Dedede stolen Dreamland's dreams. Now Kirby's fighting to get him back. Level by nightmarish level. That's Kirby. He's cute. Are you cross him? Then he's one tough cream puff. Kirby's adventure, new on NES. So this is part two to the video that I started yesterday. Um, it's already kind of late in the day today. And I don't want to make this too long and too long-winded, so I'm just going to hit some of the highlights of some of the things that I've picked up in the last month or so. Um, this is what I've got left as far as the Smash Brothers uh, Wii U games. Three of these are already spoken for, so I'm going to have six left over. Not too sure what I'm going to do with those. Uh, maybe Christmas gifts or something. And I might just hang on to them for a while and, and let them sit in the pile of other games that I've decided to hold on to for a little bit. So I do have to say that's probably one of the, the best pickups that I've ever had. Arguably the best pickup because I spent $240 on 24 copies of a brand new uh, game and a great game. Well, from what people tell me, it's a great game. Super Smash Bros. Wii U. Um, I hate to be a dirty reseller douchebag, but that's the reality of it is that I bought those in order to make some money and I get a copy for myself, my daughter gets a copy and whatnot, so, um, it's, financially speaking, that was probably the best pickup I've ever had. Um, another great one that I had uh, last week, actually, was this uh, great Nintendo 64 set, and uh, I got this for 30 bucks with, I think it was eight or nine really crummy games, like old wrestling games, and I think the best thing in that lot, you know, as far as popular opinion, is concerned was there was two copies of Perfect Dark in there. Um, but I got that for 30 bucks and it's really funny because the week before that I was out with a buddy of mine Well, we kind of ran into each other while we were out hunting for games and he uh, saw a, a purple N64 right before I did and he got it for 17. Um, his was I believe just the console only console in the power uh, cord but you know I, I was really miffed about that. <laughs> Uh, you know, what are the odds of running into somebody that you know while you're out game hunting and then have them find something that you've been looking for and that you really wanted before, you know, you get to see it. So, you know, I, I thought it was pretty amazing, pretty lucky uh, that I was able to find out the very next week. Pretty cool as far as I'm concerned. Um, something else I got in the mail uh, recently, I got this uh, boxed turbo pad. Um, it's not in the greatest condition. There are definitely some issues with it. but. Um, it's pretty cool. It doesn't look like it's ever been used before. 
It's got uh, the registration card in there. Excuse me. Um, it's still in the plastic. Like I said, it looks brand new. I'm pretty sure it is. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. Didn't really get that for any re other reason than just that I wanted the box. So I'll probably sell off one of the controllers that I already have and kind of make up some of that money that way. Something else I found uh, recently, locally, was this Donkey Kong Jr. Game & Watch. Um, I just think it's cool because I've never had a Game & Watch before. I've never seen one up close. Um, tried playing it. It's not the greatest in the world. It's something that I think I might keep in my collection just because it's kind of cool to have in the collection, but it's not something I think I'll ever even try playing again. It's, it's not a whole lot of fun, and I think maybe um, I need to open this up and clean it up because you kind of have to press on the buttons kind of hard for it to actually do anything, but you know, I'm not a big fan of the old LCD games, so um, that was 10 bucks. So, so regardless of whether I like to play it a whole lot, it's still pretty cool. Um, about a month ago, I had a four-day weekend. Um, it was a holiday, and, and ugh, I don't even know which one it was. <laughs> but anyway, uh, had the two days for the weekend, and then you know Monday and, uh, and the previous Friday off. So I drove down to California and all my, my old stomping grounds, and, and did some uh, some game hunting down there. And the thrift stores out there are, are still as great as ever. Um, on that note, let me pull these games down real quick. I got three fairly uh, expensive games, or valuable games I should say. Uh, these were five bucks each at one of the thrift stores that's uh, near the place where I used to live. Uh, it's R. Tonalico, I want to say. One and two. And then uh, Tales of the Abyss. So uh, these are all complete in really, 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 really nice shape. <laughs> uh, they're almost, they almost look brand new, quite honestly. But, um, I thought those were really cool to find, you know, and it's, it's been such a long time since I've been out in California doing, you know, the things I do, and they still have great stuff in the thrift stores. Um, so, I found that, and I also found a Nintendo 64 for 8 bucks, so that was a great way to start off that, uh, that trip. Uh, I didn't do a whole lot of game hunting after that, uh, I got into some other things, and I just kind of put the whole game hunting thing aside. But one thing I did get at a local retail store out there was something that I really wanted uh, back when I was living there, but I just never wanted to pull the tr trigger because it was too much money. But um, I'm kind of seeing that I never, I'm never going to get the American version of the system, so I decided to, to take what they had on the shelf. Basically, it's been sitting there for years, uh, but I bought this uh, Neo Geo system, and this is probably the most. Um, sought after system that I had on my list for, for many, many years. I've always wanted one of these since I was a little kid. Um, I remember when I was, I, I don't know, I had to be like 12, 11 or 12, my mom used to rent this, this system from a, a local um, video rental store. And I think it was like 20 bucks for two days, which is really expensive, but oh man, <laughs> I fell in love with the system. You know, I love the arcade games and I always, always wanted a system for myself at home. And you know, back then, you know, like six, seven hundred dollars for the system, two hundred dollars for the games. Quite honestly, not a lot has changed. They're still really expensive. Uh, this one was three hundred and fifty dollars. Um, I, I had to pull the trigger. There was just no way I, I wanted to to walk away without getting it because this is one of the last two systems that I need or that I feel like I need for my collection. Uh, and this is definitely the better of the two. The other one is the CDI, which I still haven't run across yet, but. Um, having a Neo Geo finally, you know, is a great, I feel like it's a great accomplishment for myself. And I ordered one game from Japan, it took a whole month to get here, but finally got it uh, earlier this week, and that's uh, Fatal Fury 2. Now, this is not like the greatest game in the world for me, and this is definitely not one of my more sought after games, but this was definitely one of the cheaper games that I could find. So, I wanted to have at least one game for the system, and it is complete. That shows up all right. Um, I've not played it yet. I've just had quite a bit going on, especially with the uh, the Smash Brothers game. We're getting all those uh, ready to ship tomorrow. But I definitely want to test that out at some point in the very near future. Uh, I definitely want to grab a few more games. I want to have at least four or five games. Uh, definitely don't want to spend more than a hundred dollars on games, which is really hard because a lot of the better games are, you know, well above a hundred dollars. And as I'm sure most of you already know. So as far as like local stuff in the last month, 
I've got a lot of mundane stuff. I'll probably just throw in some pictures right about now so you guys can see um, some of the stuff that I've gotten. It's, it's, not, it's a lot of stuff, but it's nothing like particularly spectacular because I have a lot of it already. Yeah, it, it's, it's fun, I guess. But uh, I'm going to stop the video right there because I've got a lot of other stuff to talk about. I uh, picked up a lot of other really great stuff in the past year that I haven't talked about and haven't captured on video or whatever, but I'll save it for another time. I appreciate you guys checking in with me. I have a bunch of cuts on my fingers, so I hope that wasn't too distracting seeing all these band-aids and whatnot on my hands. But uh, I appreciate people, you know, still being subbed and, and taking the time to check out this video. So I'll catch you later, hopefully not too long from now. Have a good holiday and be safe, all that, blah, blah, blah. Peace.